if we were to do the same thing going back to the first shape we played or similar shape anyways if i was to play that same c major seven back here on the third fret but now i'm going to use a skip of the d string i'm going to put in other words its note the g i'm going to put it up an octave up there so now i'm playing three on the a skip the d play four on the g i know i'm going quickly but it's recorded uh five on the b string three on the e string that is a drop three voicing as well for the same chord again the thing that tells us that d string goes unused in the middle of the voicing okay and so on from there and that would it's worth noting that would apply to the inversion so if i went back to that first shape and inverted it its inversions would hold the same shape okay the a string is still unused and the same thing would be true here it's inversion here which is a nice voicing there's a d string still unused in the middle so drop three we'll have a gap string drop two we'll have adjacent strings for the entire voicing